Hi friends! Today, me and Penny and Dash are going to show you a fun Christmas project. We did this project last year for our Christmas ornaments. People loved it so much that I thought doing a video for you to show how we did it would be a great idea. So if you love a super simple project that's also playful and really cute in the end, then this project is for you. Here is what you'll do to start making your salt dough for your ornaments. Once you've mixed your ingredients, you'll want to knead the dough a little bit with your hands, making sure it's all the way combined, and rolling it into a ball until smooth. Now take a small portion to roll out flat for your ornament, making sure you have enough to fit your child's hand. I like to make sure to roll it out smooth enough, making no cracks in the middle so that it doesn't break once it's all the way cooked. Also make sure that your dough is at least a quarter inch thick so it's good and sturdy once you hang it. Now to put your child's hand on the dough, I like to put their fingers together to make the beard a little more distinct. Okay, lift it up slowly. Yay! <laughs> then you'll take a knife and cut around the edges, leaving about a quarter of an inch border around it. Now you'll need to poke a hole in the top so you can string it through once it's cooked and make sure your hole is big enough because it may shrink a bit once it's in the oven. Something I added to ours was these little letters so I can tell whose hand was who once it came out of the oven. Now they're ready to bake and you'll put them in the oven for at least 90 minutes or 2 hours just to make sure they're cooked all the way through. Once they start baking, let your kids play with all the extra dough. It's easy entertainment and this entertained them for at least an hour. They loved it. After you let them cool down a bit, you can start painting. I started by painting a white border around the edge so I could tell where I wanted the beard and the face and the hat all to go and I outlined it with some pencil so I could make sure I had everything in place. These are the colors I chose for our ornaments to match with the rest of our tree ornaments. I like a little more muted palette and I'll link below the colors that I used just in case you're curious, but I like to use colors that are cohesive and go well with the rest of our Christmas decorations. Now you can start painting your Santa face and hat on it and let your kids have fun decorating however they like. This is why I like to use a cohesive color palette too because no matter how they paint it, it'll still turn out pretty. Now add some string through your hole or ribbon or yarn so you can hang it on your tree. I also added some fluffy yarn to the ornament to give it a little more texture and added detail. Now you have the cutest keepsake ornament hanging on your tree with your kiddos hands. These also make really sweet gifts for grandparents or loved ones that they will cherish too. So there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed making this project together and that you created something that will be cherished for many years to come. Don't forget to subscribe 
and turn on notifications so that you know when the next video drops. I have lots more fun projects coming for you and your little ones to do to make a creative home. I look forward to the next time we are at my table together.